Hello and welcome you guys to my new tutorial about the Euler gamma function. In this video I will teach you how to derive the functional equation of this crazy function. So let's, let's just have a look at the function itself. It's looking uh, like this, gamma of s. Actually this is the letter of the Greek alphabet for gamma, okay, g, so to say. And now here we have an integral boundaries are 0 and infinity here the integrand is t to the s minus 1 e to the minus t dt okay very important this integral is only converging for a real part which is bigger than 0 okay you, we could derive that but I'll just keep that as practice for you okay so let's just start off how do we derive the functional equation of the gamma function let's just try this. We plug in instead of s, we plug in s plus 1. So here above we get s plus 1 and if we just simplify this we get an integral from 0 to infinity t to the s e to the minus t dt. Okay? Now what will I do next? I'm just doing a partial integration on this thing. Now, very important, the first part is the part that is going to be down integrated and this part is going to be up integrated so actually only this first we integrate this and the integral of e to the minus t is minus e to the minus t multiply this with this function we didn't change anything the boundaries are infinity and zero and here we get minus and here is zero infinity now here we have to differentiate this function t to the s and the other part which we integrated first minus e to the minus t just stays invariant so we didn't change anything on that now this part actually is going to get to become zero okay if you plug in zero you will see automatically that this will become zero for infinity it's a little bit harder because you you will actually get this to tend to zero and this tend to infinity and we have a complex variable here above but actually if you uh, use L'Hopital's rule you will see that this is um, converging to zero okay so this is out of the equation and this minus and this minus will cancel so let's see what we get so I took out these uh, so these both minus signs cancel this uh, is equal to zero and the differentiation of this gives us s multiplied with t to the s minus one and e to the minus t dt. Now I just take this s out of the integral because it's actually not part of the integration it's just in very like a c constant in an integral so I take it out. And Now let's have a look what we have here. This is actually the gamma function that we had here above. So what we have actually showed is that gamma s plus 1 is equal to s multiplied with gamma of s. So let's write this down. This is the functional equation of the gamma function. And that's the, all the magic that was behind that. Now, there is a little bit about this. You might ask, what the heck is the gamma function? Maybe you, you actually know it. The motivation was to find an analytical function that is equal to the factorial function for integer numbers. And actually, if you do that, if you just plug in for s an integer number, use the functional equation and use it uh, iteratively again and again and again, then you see you have n multiplied with n minus 1, multiplied with n minus 2, and so forth. Actually, you end up having uh, n faculty. Uh, actually, you will end up in having to integrate the integral for s equals 1, not s equals 1, but gamma of 1, and you will see that this is equal to 1 so this is the end where we will stop and I think this concludes this lecture I hope you had a little bit fun and I hope you will stay tuned for my next tutorials and please subscribe if you want to see the new videos okay so see you guys